Hey all, so today is going to be an off day shoot. I'll be going to a client's location where I will build a PC. Well, I'm not building the PC, but I'll make him build the PC and I'll give him the directions. So let's grab my phone, turn off the lab monitor and hopefully everything goes well at his place. Uh, it's going to be totally unplanned. Uh, I'm hoping the shoot is going to be pretty smooth. So I've prepared all my gear. It's all in my camera bag, my backpack. And of course I need shoes, purse and keys of my car. Hey all, welcome to Ron's Tech Reviews. Today we'll be building this 2000 to 1000, uh, well 1900 to $2000 system that is around 7000 reals. And this is going to be the first build for France. Yeah. Uh, it's a France with a Z, not, a, not the <laughs> country France. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so France, why are you building this PC? Uh, I did only for like casual gaming and then like, yeah, for like browsing also, browsing also. And this is my first build also, that's why I'm quite excited also. All right, okay. So let's get to it then. So now we will open the motherboard and we'll just do a BIOS update to make it, make sure that it's compatible with the 5000 series yes. CPUs. And now let's take the PSU, uh, not the CPU, just the PSU. We don't need the CPU for the BIOS update. So we got the Fractal Design 860P, it's an 850W 80 plus platinum power supply, which is quite good for its price. Oh, it comes with a nice yeah. bag. <laughs> All the <laughs> cables are in a bag, wow, that's good. So you can show the CPU cables and the 24 pin motherboard cables All right. and the main power cable yeah. of course so these both are for the cpu mm -hmm. the 24 pin now so let's do the bios flashback yeah. insert the usb into the bios flashback port yeah it's okay and then you can power it on power the psu press the bios flashback button for three seconds now you can see it's blinking so when it stops blinking the BIOS flashback is finished. If you haven't seen my video on BIOS flashback, uh, you can check it out. I'll put the link in the description below or on the pop-up on the top right corner. So now let's insert the CPU, which is the Ryzen 5 5600X. This is a 6 core 12 thread CPU, which is more than enough for any gaming. Hold it on the sides only. And then you'll see a dot on, this, on the die. Yeah, on the dot. And there's a marking on the motherboard yeah so you just put them together yeah that's it good i just pull down the lever no 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 problem you can just use how much of it and that's it so that's the cpu installed so next we have is the crosshair rgb vengeance rgb sl the new version of the RG, uh, vengeance series this is the 4 into 8 gb kit and this is the 3600 kit with CL18 timings. Make sure you open the pin. Yeah, open with that. And then check the notch on the one minute. Check the notch, yeah. Align the notch to the RAM and push it in. Next we have the SSD, Samsung SSD 980. Not the pro version, so this is a 3.0 PCIe version. So this is the PCI 3.0, while this one is the PCI 4.0, which he can use it later when he upgrades his drive. He can get a 4.0 drive and put it over there. Right now we'll just slot it into this one. Take the M dot screw. Uh, we'll get it in the motherboard packaging itself. You need to take one standoff and one screw. First, let's place the standoff to the third one. Uh, now we'll take the SSD. And then you can use the screw to tighten it. Now you have to remove the plastic protection that's on the pad, thermal pad. So now we will do a dry run. We will check everything is booting. For that we will use the standard CPU fan that came with the box. You get this uh, fan with the 5600X but you don't get in the other models of the Ryzen 5000 series. Let's remove the brackets on the motherboard. Okay, 
this is already on the back plate you don't need to remove the back plate we will insert the cd cooler onto this the amd logo comes on this side because otherwise it will interfere with the ram all right so now let's tighten the screws final tightening on the all oh, yeah it's tight Now you connect the cable to the fan CPU fan port. This is the PWM 4 pin. And that's it. Lastly, before we do the boot, we have to connect the GPU. We have the Zotac Nvidia RTX 360. And this is the white version, the AMP white. This GPU should only originally cost around 1400 Katharizans. That is around 329 USD. 350 because it's a board partner. But right now it's being sold at almost double the price. This one he got it for 2000 Katharizans. And that is about 550 USD. Oh, it's a nice looking card. <laughs> only thing, this is the only white in the case. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna stand out. So the GPU will slot into the PCI 4 slot in the B550 motherboard. You have to remove the protection. There's a protection on that, yeah. So now we can just insert it. First you have to open, uh, yeah, to push it down. Yeah, and it wants open. Okay, wait, you just push it over the edge, sorry. Yeah, yeah now it locked. Okay, now let's connect the power cable. Yeah. So that's done, now we just have to connect the other one. Zotac has the power slots a bit too recessed, it makes it hard to reach. Alright, yeah, now it's done. Now we connect the other end to the power supply. Since this is a 3060, we just required the same single power PCIe power cable. But if you're using a 3080 or a 3090, better to have two separate cables from the power supply to the GPU. Yeah, we just slot it into one of the PCIe 8 slots. Yeah, so let's take the HDMI cable from the monitor to the GPU. Yeah, there's a cover on the GPU. You're... No, no, not on the motherboard. Don't do it on the motherboard. To the GPU. Yeah, just remove the last one. Push it in. Yeah, that's it. So let's try booting it for the first time. And then we see the motherboard is turned on. Hopefully it will boot without issues. There is an orange light, red light, white it's checking, it's cycling and green. And there's a signal I think. Yes! So we have the Mi 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor which is 1440p still boot cycling and voila it booted. We have the Crosshair, what is this keyboard again? K55 Pro. Uh, K55 Pro, the new version. Anyway, right? Yeah, just any USB port. Yeah. Okay, press F1. And it boots into the BIOS. And yes, we have everything. We have the Ryzen 5 5600X, 6 core processor at 3700 MHz. 32 GB of memory. It's currently running at 2133 MHz because it, the XMP or the DOCP profile is not activated. But we don't want to do that right now. We will do that after we finish the build and complete the system, install Windows and everything is finished and then we will activate the DOCP profile. So for now, the GPU, the CPU, the RAM, all of it is being detected and all is going well. Uh, this RAM is Crosshair's new RAM, the Crosshair, Crosshair Vengeance RGB SL, the low profile version. This is not in the qualified vendor list of the motherboard because it's brand new. I think they didn't update it yet, but as you can see, it's working perfectly. And I think when we turn on the DOCP profile, it will be at its full 3600 MHz speed. So now that we saw everything is working perfectly, now we'll remove this stock AMD cooler 
and we will be inserting the NCXT Kraken X63 RGB AIO. And now we will clean up the paste. Spray the alcohol onto the wipes. Now just rub it. Now that we have removed the AMD standard stock CPU cooler, we will be using this AIO from NZXT, the Kraken X63 RGB. So it comes with the RGB fans. So that's one advantage. Unboxing the cooler, uh, we find the rad and the AIO pump, cables, the AM4 mount, screws for the radiator and the fans, the RGB fans, 140mm each, and no manual but a QR code for the manual. Let's try the Q QR code. Oops, it's not there. NZXT, good job. <laughs> now we have to search manually for the manual. So after finding the instructions manually, we found out, okay, we need to use this. Standoffs first, one minute, show that one. France, okay. Yeah, this one for the AM4. And yeah, three are put. Now France will put the last one. Then you have to place it on the standoffs. Yep. Yeah, and just pull it out. Turn it on. Hmm. It's all white lighting on the NCXT fans and the strip. And on the PC, it loads into the BIOS. Success! Okay. So now we will continue installing Windows. For a legit Windows key, visit vip scdkeyscom Click on the notification tab and to see and copy the discount code. and also get the direct link to the Windows Pro product page. Once there, put it into your cart, enter the discount code and complete your order. After all is finished, you will find the Windows key in your account. Just click on view keys and you will find the legit Windows key to activate your Windows. Now for all the common software under one simple installation package, Visit ninite.com and select the programs you want. And then click get your Nanite. This will download an installation file, simply run it and with a couple of clicks, you will have all the programs you want installed in one go. Hey all, okay, now it's all done. Uh, the build is looking quite good. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a day after, that's why it's a change of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you like the, uh, you have played some games on it and how do you uh, like it? Yeah, I play some games like CSGO and Dota. Yeah, it's okay. nice, but I'm uh, aiming to play Cyberpunk or other games also. Alright. Uh, it's nice build. <laughs> you like the build? Yeah, thank you for 
Philip. No, ni Rani. So yeah, Francis. Happy with this build. I am also happy that it went well. Uh, we had some issues with the build. Uh, not issues, as sir. We had some hiccups, meaning the fan connections. We needed to have some brainstorming session to find out NZXT's fan connector cables. And finally, it sorted out, and it took some time, but it's done. Yeah. So right now, everything is installed. Windows is all installed. Games are installed. Uh, I've shown you how to install most of the software you require using. Uh, nanite so you go to nanite.com and you can download all the software uh, the windows key you can get it from scdkeys.com and it's pretty cheap it's only it, how much it costs you uh, costing 14 dollars after discount i think yeah, yeah. 14 dollars after yeah, it's always on discount yeah <laughs> so you'll always find it on discount and it's around 10 to 14 dollars if you're lucky you'll get it in 10 dollars it's around 14 to 15 dollars yeah really good price yeah so it's all done, Windows Pro, it's all installed. And the build is looking quite good and I will show you some B-roll footage of the build. We'll also do the peel of the yeah. glass. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope you all liked it. This was my first time shooting at a client's location and it went pretty well. I could have done the shoot a bit more well planned. But in all in all, it went smoothly and he's happy with the system. That's all that matters. So before you leave, like this video, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of my future videos. Stay home, stay safe, take care. And I hope this COVID goes away.